Okay, now that we know a voltage controlled current source is going to help us make an amplifier, let's see let's see how a transistor could operate as a voltage controlled current source. Okay? So a bipolar transistor looks like this. We make it basically by putting an n-type material, a doped n-type, a doped p-type and a doped n-type sandwiched together. So three different doped regions uh, connected together will give us a, a bipolar transistor. And we call this transistor an NPN, or well, let's actually use the small letters, NPN transistor, just because, well, look at the picture and you will know why, right? Similarly, we could have PNP transistors and we're gonna discuss them uh, before the end of this chapter, okay? So we're gonna call one of these N-type materials em emitter, the other one base, and the last one collector right so there are three terminals base emitter and collector generally the way things work is that the emitter emits and collectors the collector is collecting the charge carriers and the base terminal is the one that works like that valve that i described to you before so that the base uh, voltage is really controlling the flow of charge carriers from emitter to collector Okay, so you can have an idea about like the naming, why it's called emitter or collector or base. The symbol that we use for transistors is like this, at least for an NPN transistor, it looks like this. So we have the base terminal connected to this, uh, basically this middle part here. And then I have the emitter and collector uh, connected to the two sides. Okay, um, I'm going to tell you why we have this little arrow here, but it, it is an important arrowhead that, that tells us a lot about the transistor, the, the direction of the current and the type of transistor. So later on, you will see that for an N, this is an NPN transistor, for a PNP transistor, the symbol look like, looks like this. So you have base here, emitter on the top and collector on the bottom. So emitter is always on the side that, uh, the base is always on the middle, emitter is on the side that has the arrowhead and collector is the third terminal, okay? Now, this is the first device or element that we have that has th three terminals. As I mentioned before, we've had resistors, capacitors, inductors, and diodes. And there was always a one-to-one -one relationship between the voltage and current. So like there was a voltage across the, the, the element and the current flowing through the element. Now I have three different terminals, which, which means that I'm gonna have a voltage across base emitter junction, the base collector junction, and the collector emitter junction, right? And the reason I'm calling these junction is because, well, each of these, you can think about it, it's basically uh, you have a PN junction here between the base and emitter, and you have a PN junction between base and collector, right? So you might actually even think that there is a diode, for example, from base to the emitter, right? And indeed, there is a diode, and we're going to talk about that, right? So this is really one of the reasons that we actually start talking about diodes before talking about transistors, just because... Uh, it helps us better understand the operation of a transistor, okay? At least the bipolar transistor. Now, since I have three different voltages, and each of these voltages could take a positive or negative value, so like different kind of, like remember that we had reverse bias, forward bias, and things like that. Uh, I'm going to have 2 to the power of 3, so this is a typo, this 3 should be up here, it should be a superscript. Uh, I'm going to have two to the power of three possibilities for the terminal voltages of a transistor, right? Uh, the good news, well, this is a bad news, like eight different kind of situations is not something that we are we can actually look forward to. The good news is that only one of these eight combinations finds practical value and comes into our focus here, right? So we are not going to look into uh, all different seven combinations. We're just going to look into when... Uh, basically VBE has a certain value and the VCB has this as another certain value and then well VCE is kind of like decided based on the first two because because of KVL right okay so this is a very basic introduction to the NPN transistors let's move forward and see how it actually works